everybody, Sean here. We're at the, uh, the Ping Tour Fitting Center in the putting area. I'm going to show you afterwards, give you a little tour. This place looks rock and roll. It's amazing. So it's a real pr privilege to be with you uh, here today, you guys, and I can't wait to see what you got to say with, uh, with this amazing equipment. All right, awesome. So I'll just uh, briefly explain kind of the table. So the table is six and a half feet wide, okay. 46 feet, 10 inches long. So uh, throughout the fitting process, we'll use a, a number of different technologies. Uh, we'll use iPing, which is uh, what our engineers have designed. It's a great tool, fitting tool. Tell us everything you the, need to know. The app on the phone, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the yeah. putting app. And then we use uh, Motion View for all of these cameras here. So we have okay. cameras set up for right-handed players, left-handed players, down the line, and then for to show oh, lie angle. So fantastic. Um, and then we'll hit some putts on Quintic, which is a launch monitor for putting. So really uh, cool. Really, really tell us our launch angle, side spin, back spin, where it's reaching true roll. Okay. All that kind of information. So we'll start with your gamer. Sure. You can just hit a couple putts to that first target there. Okay. Sounds good. Um, just get used to the speed of the surface. It's it's rolling at 12.4. I rolled it today. So just for your fitting. Okay. <laughs> just about every student that comes through our doors has the need for some sort of an adjustment or fitting on their golf equipment. And is there a counterbalanced weight in that? Yes. Okay. Perfect. I, I really enjoy the feel of a counterbalanced putter. Okay. And it, did you add weight to that head, or is that the standard? Standard head. Okay. Yeah. So I had it. Uh, I had it done right here at your facility. Okay. Do you have you used iPing before? Do you use it? The app. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. I tried it when I was in Toronto. Okay. So we did a. a, a a, f a fitting with that app uh, at the facility in Toronto. Okay. So it'll be interesting to see the um, what they they discovered because of my arc. Mm -hmm. It was it was running at about 5.5. Okay. And that I the this putter needed to be a little a little less face balanced, a little to a little more toe heavy. Yep. So. Okay. Yeah. Any of our mallets we can get into a face balance or slide arc cat just by changing that bend point yeah. in the hosel. So. So is that good? Yeah, so let's, okay. let's go ahead and do an iPing session here. Go, go ahead and hit I five just, putts for me. I just love how this thing installs so fast. I know, it's, it's, a, it's a great tool. Yeah, I think it's one of the best apps out there, if not the best. And I actually like the weight added by the phone on this thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it actually tracks even better. So I'm just allowing my arms and putter to swing freely yep. without any manipulation. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. Two more. Two more? Oh, that's right. There's five on this, on this app. That's right. Ah, there it is. All right. Let's take a look. So I'll just briefly run through what these all these numbers mean. So yeah. I ping it's just all based off consistency. Yeah. So at 1.6 your consistency score, which is on the same scale as a handicap. So everything would in green would be consistent, yellow would be moderate, red would be a little inconsistent. So Okay. So on the screen on the left is the closing angle 4.4, right? Yeah, so that first number is 1.6 is the player's consistency score, which is on the same scale as a handicap. Okay, so I'm a 1.6 handicap Correct. with my stroke. Yeah, for those five putts. Okay. So, uh, closing angle 4.4 degrees, that's just how much face rotation you have from the start of your downswing back to impact. Okay. So it's putting you into a slide arc putter. You're using a face balance model now. You already mentioned that maybe something with a little bit of toe hanging. That's right. just going to naturally match up with that closing angle coming okay. through. So really the cutoff between a face balance model and a slide arc putter would be about three and a half degrees of rotation. Right. So, you know, based off missed tendencies, either more off to the right, more off to the left. Yeah. Probably if you're right on that borderline, we'd put you into one category over the other. Okay. Uh, the, the cutoff between slide arc to strong arc is seven and a half degrees. So okay, uh, yep. that, that's the window there, 4.4 .4 degrees. We might want to try something just a little bit with a little bit of toe hang for you. Okay. It's just going to probably help out with your missed tendency. Okay. Impact angle. 
This is just a relative measurement from where you are at setup compared to where you are at impact. Okay. So we see here that this number does not need to be right at zero. Everyone will always aim a little bit differently, even right. one of the best players in the world. Sure. As long as they're repeating it and it's consistent, that's all we're trying to focus on there. Okay. So for you, what this means is you're pretty much square from setup, but that what that negative is, is you aim it a little bit right and you come in a little bit close relative to that setup point. So okay. it's very consistent. You're at a plus 2.6 on that category. Very consistent on how you're aiming that. Okay. If you were inconsistent, we could try different head shapes or alignment features, okay. you know, neck shapes, just something a little bit better visually for you to aim the putter at. Gotcha. That's what we would focus on there, but you're very consistent on how you're aiming this type of putter. Okay. Tempo, this is just a time ratio from your backswing to your forward swing. So 1.8 would be an average tempo in iPing. Yeah. You're at 1.9. That just means that you have a little bit of a slower tempo. Sure. So, you know, really when you're in that 1.7 to 1.9, whatever weight feels comfortable for you. Yeah. But this is what we would use to fit for head weight. So okay. we're trying to fit that putter up to your natural cadence of your stroke. Right. So something a little bit heavier if you had a slower tempo, say 2.0 or higher. Yeah. A little heavier might offer a little bit more stability. Gotcha. You might not need that extra weight to yeah, match yeah, up yeah. with that cadence if it's 1.7 now, or lower. Is it possible to add a little more weight to the putter right now as is? Yeah, so yeah, definitely. Not, not in the head, but in the handle? Yeah, so right now you'd have about 50 grams of weight up in your right. head. So um, we can t try different models. All of our counterbalance are going to have a little extra weight, about 50 grams, but it might okay. be a little bit heavier on the head weight on this. So okay. we'll, we'll take a look and see um, and, and see what. So, so far the, the, the putter I have fits the bill pretty good. Correct, yeah, okay. yeah absolutely. Uh, next thing is your lie angle. So our standard lie angle would be 20 degrees or yep. 70 degrees, depending on how you measure it. Uh, we measure it from vertical, that's why it's 20 degrees. So you're showing about uh, three, two and a half degrees upright. So yep. right now your putter is one degree upright. So you yep. can see over here, making pretty good contact right in the center of the club, maybe a little bit off the toe, but it's pretty level. So that yep. heel's not up, that toe's not up. Lie angle looks great, so oh, okay. good. Uh, don't think we'll have to to make an adjustment on your lie angle there. Length looks awesome. pretty good. Your eye position's in a pretty good spot. Yeah. Just over the ball, it might be just a little bit outside. Sure. Which could sometimes cause if your eye line gets a little bit too far outside, you could cause it to you know kind of cut across your stroke and miss left. So, okay. Um, if it was too far outside, maybe we'll try something a little bit longer, see if we can get your eye position in a little bit better spot. But that looks pretty good there. Yeah. So I'm what I'm trying to do is balance my body and feel the weight of my arm putter unit really swinging mm -hmm. naturally from my shoulders, right? Yep. So that's, that's what I get right now. Now, what kind of a fit could I improve on to get the eyes would I, would I need a putter that's less upright? So yeah, we could try a couple things. So we could try something longer, yeah. and we can try something just a little bit flatter to see if we can get that eye position a little bit. Oh, so if I hold the putter a little longer, yeah, so right now you're at 37 inches with that counterbalance. You always want a little bit of weight above your hands just yeah. so you can feel it. So yeah. we can try something at, at a typical standard length counterbalance putter is 38 inches. Right. So we can see what 38 inches does. Yeah. Uh, but for the most part, yeah, so we're pretty close to. If I if I grip down, a, a grip up a little bit more on the putter, that should be able that that yeah. should. That yeah. should fix it, right? Exactly. Okay, cool. Given that you have a pretty nice straight line from the you know forearms up your yeah. up your shaft, so that all looks really good there. Yeah. But yeah, we'll we'll play around with length and lie and just that's, see if anything changes. That's the double overlap grip. <laughs> and then your last thing is your shaft lean. So uh, okay. what we want to see dynamically right at impact is you to be around three degrees, so a combination of that shaft lean and the loft of your putter. Okay. Uh, now you're using about four degrees of loft on your putter currently. Yeah. So your hands are pretty neutral, 0 0.3, a little bit of a forward press, very consistent with your with your shaft lean there. So shaft lean is plus 2.8 right now. Yes, yeah, on your okay. consistency. So really, with four degrees of loft, with only about 0.3 degrees of forward press, might have a little bit too much loft, but we'll take a look and see okay. on Quintic just to make sure your launch oh. angle and your skid yeah. is is all all, all good there. That's so. the Quintic uh, unit right there, you guys. Very cool. But we have two different counterbalance options. Yes. The Kinlock, which is a, a slide arc putter. Yes. And then uh, both 400 grams on the head weight, 50 grams of counterbalance weight. Okay. And then this is called the Dune, which is all we can get in a face balance and a slide arc. Right. So. That's the one I have on order right now. Okay. So uh, be interesting. Be interested to see if that's the one that'll fit the bill with you guys here. How do the eyes look now? They look good. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, they look really good. Yes. Wow. 
that is so much more stable than mine. Mm -hmm. Wow. So we changed the grip too. That's a new counterbalance grip. It's a little bit bigger than the, the one that you're currently playing with. This, and it's a little bit shorter too. This putter feels amazing. Wow. Ah, she's my girl. Yeah, I'm, I'm wearing her clothing too. You know, I got Skechers on. I got my Skechers. Look at this. Brooke Henderson was here. She just autographed that poster last week, and she was the last person on that putting fitting system just before me. How about that? Two, two Canadians in a row. Wow. Wow. All right, so a couple things. So you can still see 161, that's 19 degrees, basically on yep. your lie angle. So, so you can yep. see that slightly that heels up in the air. So I still like you at this lie angle, yep. but yep. at 19 degrees, this is standard lie angle. Yep. So that's why that heels up in the air a little bit. But you can see by just changing the length one inch and you maybe grip it up a yep. little bit higher on the shaft, yeah, that you can looks see so your much. eye Look. position's in a lot better spot. So, that's amazing. Again, that's gonna just help out with you getting the ball started on your intended line and should help out with your missed tendency a little bit off just, the left. So. Wow, I just got a nice putting lesson, man. That looks great. Love it. Yeah. This putter then is a, is a terrific fit. Yeah, yeah, so we'll do an eye ping session. I also want you to try the, the Kinlock CB too. Just to okay. see what just happens a, Just there. as a comparison, right? Yep, exactly. Oh, these putters feel so good. It's a little taller. Yeah, that looks good there. Just a little bit different look, same weight. That 400 is, grams. It's, it's a different feel. Yep. Very different feel. The head doesn't feel as stable for me. Okay. That that is the most stable putter I've I've ever tried. Yeah, it's it's a uh, has a good look to it. Even though it is a mallet, it's very low to the ground. So even though I feel the stroke not as stable, it seems to be pretty effective. Yeah, we can definitely do an eye ping session with both of them just to see what the numbers are if you'd like to okay. do that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm completely allowing that arm putter unit to swing freely. Yeah, it looks good. No manipulations, no messing with it, just allowing it to swing. All right. Let's... I bet you I'm better than a 1.7 handicap there now. Come on, give it to me. <laughs> Plus 1.9. Plus 1.9, woo, look at that. I just we've improved. Only, we've almost improved about four strokes. We improved four strokes, That's look good. at this. All right, so a couple things I want to point out. So that, that four degrees of rotation, that's really your natural footprint. You're always yep. going to be in that window there. So, so definitely, I'm still think, okay with face balance. Yeah, you are. You're right on that borderline, but because your missed tendency is a little bit more off to the left, Not I, would, I would maybe recommend maybe Not build, anymore. <laughs> doing a, a slight arc. I, I didn't miss one to the left I know. There. Yeah, it looked good. They, it looked if, good. If anything, they were crawling in the right edge of the hole, the ones that, you know, the ones that came in on the right-hand side, but none of them came on the left-hand side. Yeah. But Fantastic. Yeah, that, that looks good there. Impact angle is really good. So uh, wow. you're at plus two. Let's see what you were with. Uh, let's see what, what's your impact One angle. One point something. So right? you're, no, two point six. Yeah. Yeah. Plus two point six. About the same on your impact angle there. So that's really okay. good there. A little bit more square to set up uh, with this uh, dune than your current putter, but all good there. Tempo hasn't changed. You're one point nine. Now you're at one point eight. Yeah. Uh, very, very good on the lie angle. I'd still say go a little bit upright just to get that, that heel down. You're right. still making pretty good contact, but um, I like it just a little bit upright, at one degree upright. And that, that ball position looks a little bit different. Pretty cool because I think, I think the shaft lean will be a, a slightly different, no? Yeah, so your shaft lean, your hands are back a little bit that time. So you're, you're adding a little bit of loft to your putter there. At a, at, this one? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So yeah, you can see plus 0.9, your, your hands are back about a degree there. So okay. we'll hit a couple putts on Quintic just to make sure loss correct. But okay, um, cool. Let's go ahead and do that. All right. So 
So Quintic is capturing the first 16 inches of stroke at 360 frames per second. So it's really showing, you know, the ball roll right off the face. So your launch angle 2.15. Our optimal launch angle is going to be around one and a half to two. So it was a little high that time, but it's very, very close to where we want to be. Okay. Uh, your side spin's really good. So you have two RPMs of cut spin. Really, anything under 20, that side spin's not going to affect your antenna line. Anything okay. under 10 is optimal. So right. very, very good on your side spin there at 2 RPMs. Okay. Uh, good forward spin. So that 14 RPMs, your starter for rotation is zero. We don't want any back spin, so, which is going to cause that, that starter for rotation to, to be a higher than zero. So we really want that ball rot rotating forward right off the face. So that, that's what we're getting with uh, this loft here. We are, yeah. And then that zero skid, that 16 inches, we're looking to get that number in between 10 to 20 percent of the length of the putt so you're right in that range on a, a 10 footer that you're hitting currently so okay. that all looks really good so let's go ahead and hit another one Brilliant. uh this has three degrees of loft so it's a little less loft than what you're currently playing with okay which i think you're going to get a little bit better roll <laughs> i can't wait to go play with this thing that looks good here, watch this, you guys. You see what happens to a ball when it comes off a putter. And the greens are running at 12.6, you said, on the stem? 12.4. 12.4. There it is. See how the ball is going to... There's a little bit of a launch angle, so it, it, it can get a proper roll, right? So you need a little yeah. bit of skid, don't you? Yeah, so the ball sits in a little depression, so you yeah. need a little bit of loft to get that ball out of that depression. And, and sometimes you, you can change, change your loft based on the course conditions that you're playing a little yeah. bit faster. You can sacrifice a little less loft. Yeah, so um, it's basically like a chip shot. Correct, yeah. And just getting that number, that skid distance in control is going to really help out with the ball staying on its intended line. Uh, and not skidding off of course. So it's Fantastic. really going to help out with distance control on long putts um, and holding its line on those shorter putts. Good. So So the stats are Yeah, very, very, very similar. consistent. Yeah. yeah. So again, 2.44, a little bit higher than where we want to be, but it, we're only talking about a half degree. So that's really good there. Side spin again, a little bit of cut spin, 5 RPMs, but anything under 10 is, is really good. S similar uh, forward spin, star of forward rotation again to zero right off the face, and that's, that skid number is at the same. So 16 inches is. So it's a little a cut good, spin right now. A little bit of cut spin, but yeah, Interesting. hardly any, so, which is good. Cool. And um, so, as far as, um, so I'm still at a plus two handicap, right? Yeah, oh yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> yep. Good so, man, I love what, it. What I would recommend is I would, I like you at uh, 38 inches, and yep. uh, one degree upright and keep you at three degrees aloft. So we'll keep your lie angle the same from what you're currently playing with. We're just taking a little bit of loft off just because of your shaft length. Fantastic. So, so that concludes the fitting? Yeah. Yeah. Man, thank you so much. You're welcome. Really appreciate yeah, it. Thanks I for coming really in. Really enjoyed that. Hope you guys enjoyed it too. We'll see you later.